Yo guys, welcome to the second part of my tutorial and now I'm going to show you how to create this particle animation. Okay, first of all we're going to make a new solid. Uh, we make that one black, hit OK, and we call it Particle Destroy, hit OK. Now we're going to bring the effect trap code particular on it and we mm, have to make a few adjustments. First of all we go to the particles per second and turn that really 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 high to about 60,000 particles per second. We change the emitter type from a point to a layer and now we are going to change the velocity from 100 to well not that fast to about 6 or oh, even 70 and the velocity random to 0 the velocity distribution to 1 and the velocity from motion is okay for now um, Last, uh, we're going to change the emitter size Z to 0 and the random seed also to 0. That's okay for now. We're going now in the particle section and there we want to change the life of the particles from 3 seconds to 10 seconds. Uh, we're changing the size of the particles to about 2. Sphere is ok, size randomness going turn that up to 100. Uh, sorry I forgot something in the emitter. We are here going on the layer emitter and select our text. That's really important. So as you can see here what happens that's really important and make the particle birth time. That's also really important. See what happens to our comp. Okay, let's go on. We make the opacity. That's I think that's okay. But the opacity random, we want to turn that up to 100%. So that gives us a little bit of randomness in our comp. The transfer mode is everything is okay. We're going now in the shading section. We turn shading on and shading shader light for main. Also turn that on. We're going to shadow light settings and change the color from the black to a darker gray, something like this. The color strength from 100 to about 50. The opacity with 5 is I think we can change that to about 50 and that's okay for now we are going in the physics section we change that from air to bounce and we make the gravity to 50 so the particles are falling down that's okay Okay, now we are going into the bounce section and change the floor layer to our background. So the particles falling on our background and bouncing there. So as you can see the particles are landing on our background. And yeah, that's I think that's a cool effect. We can also change in the rendering the motion blur. Maybe that one. Uh, also turn the motion blur for the layer on. Go into motion blur. Dis disregard. Change that one from nothing to physics time factor. So we were most done with the first particle layer. And now we want to do the second and the third particle layer. Okay, now we create a new solid and we call that particle smoke. Black is okay, hit okay. And again we go to the effect trap code particular. 
and do again some changes in the particles per second section we're gonna change that one to 30,000 particles per second um, everything all right change that from point to layer um, basically what layer means here we that means for our effects we want to apply this effect on the on the layer down here not we want to not make a, th a sphere or something like this a point a box a grid whatever we want to change that to layer because our effect uh, wants to effect on a layer on a single layer so that's because we changed that to layer change the velocity about to 70 percent change the velocity random again to zero the distribution again to one and the emitter size z to zero the random seed change that one to zero we go into the particle section and now we are going to change the life to 10 and we want to make that one clouded so we want to make bigger particles okay we change the size to from 5 to 20 so we make really big particles are going on right here uh, back to the emitter section layer emitter we want to change that again to text I'm sorry I forgot it and we want to change layer sampling to particle birth time wow there you can see our smoke is pretty pretty big uh, we can change the size randomness to about 100% so our smoke is really random and the opacity random also to 100% and now there's the pretty 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 uh, Im um, important to change the opacity to 1 so yeah now it looks great okay we go down to the shading section. We want to change that to on. Shadow let for main. Change that one to on. Go into the shadow let settings. Change the color again to a darker gray. Something like this. Change the strength to 50. The opacity to 50. That's okay. Go in the rendering section. Go to motion blur. Dis disregard physics time factor so that's okay for now so as you can see it looks pretty cool this little smoke is going on okay now we want to want to make a particle system for our comp and some camera movement first of all we are going to create a new solid make that one white so we can see the difference between our particle layers and our particle world particle system I call it particle system hit OK and again we go to the effect trap code particular okay now make some changes first of all we go into the emitter change the particles per second to about 200 or more 250 that's okay so change the emitter type from a point so the particles are spawning spawning on a point change that to a box so they're spawning in this box right here now we can increase the uh, where the emitter size down here Z Y and Z so we can increase that to about 600 or even more 630 that's okay size y to about 500 oh perfect and the z to to a really big level so we can do some camera movement hold down shift for yeah something like this so we had a little space in in some 3d stuff going on here going to the particle section change the size to about 2 the size randomness to 100 so we have a lot of random particles the opacity random to 100 
and you can change the color to whatever you want. I, I'm using something like a, a, a darker gray or a, yeah, whatever. The transform mode, we're going to change that to add. And we are going in the physics. Uh, we turn on our, uh, we want to change here physics sorry uh, we want to change something in the physics time factor and what that means we go on the beginning so well between zero and two seconds something like this okay we we probably go to about here we turn on the stopwatch go go uh, oh sorry guys hit u for the keyframe God damn it! My mic fall just down. Okay, uh, here we go. Our keyframe here, we move that to about zero. So we have one on zero, and we go forward to about here and change that to zero comma one. So our particles are like freezing or really really slow going on right here. So that's what we need for now and now we can do some camera movement. Okay, let's add some camera movement. Select our cam, hit P for the position. Uh, we go like to, to about here. Click on the stopwatch, go move forward to about uh, 8 seconds or so. No, we are going really to the end. And we want to go through the Z axis. So hold down shift for faster moving. So about zero. I think zero is okay. Let's see how this looks like. Okay, let's make the RAM preview. Okay guys, I think it looks pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Uh, if you enjoyed, subscribe to my YouTube channel and yeah, uh, see you next time.